I have a bass now that when I play it, it just makes me happy. Traditionally, for years and years, us bass players, especially back in the 60s and 70s, we all used Fender basses. So the sound wasn't that much different. It was all kind of basically your fingers doing the talking. I liked the guitar uh, a lot because I could play riffs and stuff. You know, I, I, I was a big West Montgomery fan. Where I grew up in Memphis, there was, a, there was a blues guy that used to sit on the step, and I'd go sit under him and, and watch him play, and I was fascinated. The thing that switched me from guitar to bass was a friend, who's a good friend now, came to my house one summer. I was 16 years old. I was mowing the lawn. And he pulled up in a car, he was older, a couple of years old, he was 18, he had a car. He pulled up, he says, Bobby, he says, uh, I have a gig for you. I know you're a guitar player, but I need a bass player. You want, you want to do this gig? And uh, I said, yeah, I, anything to get out of mowing the lawn. <laughs> so he went in the house and asked my mom, you know, I want to take your son, you know, up to San Francisco and we're going to play music this summer. And, and she gave him permission because he told her that I'd be making some money and that he'd be my big brother and watch out for me. And the guy was actually uh, the guitar player in, in Earth, Wind & Fire, Al McKay. Yeah, I never thought about jobs, working, you know, anywhere. All I thought about every morning when I woke up was playing some music. There's something in your body that's telling you, man, you, you, you have music in you and you need to get it out. We had, we had the phrase funky music and James Brown was just coming out with all this new kind of funk stuff. And that was in my, that was in my bones, even at 16 years old. Blues and funk music, R&B music. The thing about listening is when you listen and keep your ears open, <clears throat> That means you have the ability to get deeper and lower and wider, the music. And it also allows the creativity to come about. You know, because music is just a whole canvas. And if you got four guys in there all paying attention to what each other's doing, and something can trigger a whole movement and you all go left at the same time. It's like, wow, it's amazing. I have some Grammys and gold records. The records that I got them for are really good records. People still listening to them 20, 30, 25, 30, 40 years later, tell me something good, you know, those people still listen to that music, so. You know, when I first got in Rufus and we played and jammed, I could feel some magic uh, from Shaka. Even at rehearsal when nobody's there but just a band, she would sing as hard and as loud as she could, as if it was a stadium full of people watching her, but nobody was there. And that was really special to me. I knew we had something special. Even if I didn't make money uh, playing, I still would play just to, you know, get that charge. I love, I love that charge, you know, that groove that funk, <laughs> always music.